you've arrived at the return of the pet sounds. So we already listened to side one. Now we'll link that below if you haven't watched it yet. But if you want, you can you can wait on that. You can watch this one first. You know, I won't judge whatever order you decide to do things in. You can watch two before one, or you can go and watch one and then come back and watch this one. That is your choice and I support you no matter what you do. Kicking off side two, we got song number one, God Only Knows the legend, the classic, and our vocals are Carl Wilson with B. Wilson and Bruce Johnston. I may not always love you so sure about it If you should have shown nothing to me God only knows what I'd be without you That is so magical. This is super warm, loving, magical, tickly feeling right in your heart, right in your stomach. You know, like when the Grinch, um, his heart grows three sizes bigger and he learns to love all the Who's and Whoville and then they sing around the tree because it also sounded like there was a sleigh bell element in there. I actually didn't mean to make that connection, but it felt kind of Christmassy. There were so many beautiful instrumental elements in here that I would previously not picked up on, like the sleigh bells and, and the, the flutes, everything, the, the electric elements, that electric guitar, the presence there, the, the accordion, it felt like there were moments where the sound was kind of warped or stretched out and then it, sprinkles of love and magic and joy. <laughs> such an elegant opening that presence is very baroque era very very bold and beautiful and embellished and then i love how they let up and they kind of tone down the sound a bit before the vocal gets introduced I may not always love you. Our stars above you. oh and the percussion is so interesting too it's like And we have a musical transfer moment on both of those lines. Like we have a flip over to some some saucy, salty chords. Like we have that seven thrown in. I love this mix between a lot of modern elements and a lot of non-musical sounds and a lot of just very simplistic sounding things mixed in with some old school stuff. We have a presence of a harpsichord, we have these strings, we have these, this like crazy melding of time periods just working together to create a song that really exists outside of time. I love their ad libs, that little, it was like the perfect mix of hitting every single pitch perfectly, but feeling so thrown away. It almost feels like this like sigh or this yawn, but it feels so loving and warm and golden at the same time. I'm often really impressed when a musical group or any artist is able to make very simple sounds sound intricate and sound difficult. So it's almost the opposite. They're taking overly complicated subject matter, this very heavy material, and making it come off very easily. Let's take the melodic line, for example. God only knows what I'd be without you. It comes off so simple and beautiful, and it's such a genius line, but what makes it so pleasant to the ear is that it feels like it almost hits every single note in that scale. God only knows. And there's also a lot of movement. It's constantly up and down. It's not just a scale going up and a scale going down. It's 
it at first is teetering between two notes god only knows what i'd be without you okay god only knows what i'd be without you so first we're going back and forth a whole step first down then up god only knows what and that's a whole step and a half above the top note what i'd be without you and it all fills in from there when you're listening to it it sounds very straightforward very cleanly cut like you're like oh yeah easy then when you sit down and think about it it's so involved and then not to mention all of the instruments and the way that they have different sounds and they have like they're carrying different luggage with them too <laughs> We gotta love flute moments and every time there's a wind or something just beautiful magic ah, what a way to start off this side and this is the only song i actually know on side two so i'm really excited to hear what comes next I had to kind of reposition the camera because it started sliding down, you know, doing one of those. Song number two, we've got I Know There's an Answer. And that is such a great title, but I keep telling myself to calm down because I don't want to put too many expectations in this song and then be let down because that does happen to me. And our vocal is Love with Al Jardine. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And B. Wilson. Okay, this one was definitely a true roller coaster in the sense that it gave me lots of feelings throughout that were constantly changing and evolving, which is a good thing. In this context, the dissonance wasn't eerie or scary or terrifying. It was more like like awkward, like kind of like running into each other, like bumping into each other. But then as the song progressed, it really started growing on me and uh, the melody, especially in the chorus was very beautiful. I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed all of the instruments that, that were chosen for this one. I think that they do a great job with choosing really interesting sounds to move the music that you wouldn't think kind of go together and sometimes pitches that you wouldn't think go together and in a way they do and then they keep a lot of their staples alive like they had that flip from the major to the seventh and there's also something a little bit more folksy about this one too and you can hear it right in the beginning and as the song keeps going you can hear the presence of the guitars in this one kind of give it a more folksy kind of feeling And a highlight for this song for me has to be the background vocals. The little doo doo doo. And I really enjoyed that transition right there. I thought that was very smooth and graceful. very unexpected but it was part of the roller coaster right it was the bringing us down out of nowhere we didn't even know we were brought up but we're just being brought down and suspended and then catapulted back into the song <laughs> I really like the verse too, but for me, the chorus just stands out. I really like how we have that repetition from major to minor, major to minor, and then the extension on the second time around where you think that it's just gonna repeat and be the same thing over and over again, but then it takes on a life of its own. The 
mark of true musicianship is having no fear to try new things, to venture out and try things maybe other people haven't or just that you haven't yourself, but no matter what you do to keep that musical integrity where people know it's you. And I think that's something that the Beach Boys have down packed. There's this delicate joyfulness that exists within every be- I said Beatles. There's this <laughs> delicate joyfulness that comes forward in all of the Beach Boys material I've ever heard. And it's really enjoyable. It's what sets the Beach Boys material apart and what lets you know, oh, I'm listening to some Beach Boys right now. Not only is this a recognizable sound, but it's also a recognizable feeling. So I think that that's really cool because that goes a step further. That's true artistry. Two for two there. Number three we've got here today and our vocal is love. It starts with just a little glance now. I love how this one just goes right into the vocal. There's no hesitation. There's no little intro, no moment to get settled in. And it starts with the lyrics, it starts. really playful and interesting and so much lively movement it felt like one section to the next the progression just kept switching it up on us like we were being yo-yoed in so many different directions with all the beautiful magnificent array of instruments going on we had that steady organ despite just having the most gorgeous orchestration and an ensemble of instruments it felt like there was this very prominent driving force with the bass guitar. Starts with just a little glance now, right away. I love how the instrumentation is kind of aiding the lyrics there because he says it starts with just a little glance and at the same time this is one of the least chaotic moments in the instrumentations that we have. You know we still have beautiful moving sound and it's very bright and positive but it's not as crazy as it's gonna get it's just starting with a little glance and as he says we just can't wait to get to know her and that feeling is being mimicked in the instrumentation as we're having sound that grows where given this depth this very it's very deep timbre is added and it's very it's very forward In this upward scaling sequence, they use this counterpoint of letting off on the instrumentation a bit, but having the pitches start increasing and going upward. So we're starting to have this, this airiness, this flakiness about it, because as we get higher, we're getting less support. I feel sad. It makes your days go wrong. It makes you not so this and then we're pulled back down and the explosion happens. I just find this moment so magical and gratifying and perfectly rock and roll because of the activity in the bass. The way it starts measuring up against all of the contrasting pitches and then when the percussion swings in, it almost feels very cinema-like. They give us a part two to that where they kind of switch some elements up, but they keep that spirit alive. How? 
oír de Bill Wilson, él no lo va a cantar. Número cuatro es I just wasn't made for these times, and our vocal is B. Wilson. unique and gorgeous approach to make this song feel on one hand very very gleeful and very joyful and on the other hand sorrowful and somber and a little heartbreaking so many things going on with the the lyrics and even in the percussion there was a lot of um, hollow sound coming through very wooden and echoey and empty there was a lot of playfulness in the the magical whimsy flute that came in and added a sparkle in there and of course the background vocals top tier right off the bat they don't even give us a second to breathe or a second to think and they've just thrown at us obscure chords just the underworlds of sound and music and conflicting notes and pitches you know we have a ninth right in there and then it's like we don't get a break from the abnormality of the chords for a while The conflict in the lyrics are really interesting, how we have these two lines that aren't the same being sung at the same time, which you can kind of hear what's being said and they do a really good job of that performance and that delivery, but it does create this kind of tornado of sound where it kind of gets a little bit, um, a little bit muddy and a little bit confusing. And that magic and whimsy of the flu also acts as this calm to the storm that just happened. And it's a beautiful transition. It's very easy. I just wasn't made for this time. Inspiration to go change the might be found. What's it all about? Sometimes I a beautiful and relatable song. It's interesting to hear that people were thinking this way and feeling this way back when this song was released and back when it was written, because I definitely hear that a lot in today's world. I just wasn't made for these times. So it's relatable no matter what times you're in. Placed just one before last at number five, we have Pet Sounds and the vocal is instrumental, but here it is, the actual Pet Sounds. <laughs> much creation going on down in the percussion. It's very exciting and it's it's very rhythmic and very tropical. I really, really like it so far. fun. I didn't actually think there was going to be a track on here called Pet Sounds. The more you know, is that embarrassing? Should I not admit that? But I loved it. There was a really fun direction going with the, uh, the bass. There was so much beautiful movement and then it just 
like the cherry on the top with the the trumpet and the saxophones and just just the way everything kind of went together and the effects at which the instruments were played with and the way they were mixed and edited and the, the way it was all put together the engineering golden we'll end our night with caroline no and our vocal is b wilson <laughs> Giving us that intro that was just very percussive and playful was really interesting and unique. That's it. Unexpected emotional twist there because I mean I could I could focus on the the instruments for a second before we get into that. Um, we had the vibes, <laughs> the vibe bone brought back again. That's gonna make me happy every time I hear that or I detect something that sounds kind of vibraphone like because um, now I'm really looking out for it. And it provided the perfect round contrast to the more like nasal piercing bright sound that we had like in the harpsichord and that was ever present throughout all of pet sounds the lyrics in this song definitely hit me hard i was not expecting that but it's just because i can relate to what what the singer is singing about because i've always considered myself someone who was very positive or tried to be positive i always tried to look at the bright side of things and and lately it feels like I'm kind of losing myself in that respect. Maybe this is a good time to say why I had taken just a tiny break. It, I tried to make it smaller than it actually was. And it was because I would sit out here, set up everything, get all ready to film. And then as soon as I would turn the camera on, I would just start crying. I would just start crying. And then every time I would like, get all composed and get ready to film again, it would be like back to crying again. I, I, I didn't even get to play anything. I didn't even get to give an intro or anything or say hi or nothing. Like I would just sit down and I couldn't even open my mouth. And then it got to the point where I would get ready and I couldn't even make it out here to even set up. So it's been kind of difficult to deal with that. But then well, I've been ready to get back to work. And then my last video took a while to to get put out because I had some technical issues, some unfortunate copyright issues. I hope that you take care. I hope that you enjoy your day or your night or you have sweet dreams, depending on whatever time it is that you watch this and that you take it easy.